Okay, so let's begin with CAD softwares and then break into the main topic for today, which is Rhinoceros 3D. In between the topics, I'll be answering some questions I had over the weekend on SolidWorks, Blender, 3D's Max, and AutoCAD. Now, if you are new to CAD and don't know where to start from, well, this is my little tip. You should know how to draw properly using paper and pencil with free hands and also drawing instruments. Learn how to attach draft to your drawing board over ruler scales. Also study how to convert orthographic to isometric view and vice versa. Be consistent if this is what you are keen on doing. It's not difficult. Once you gain the basic knowledge on how design works, you are definitely ready to attach technology to your skills. And that will be the story of your CAD journey. There are tons of CAD softwares on the market to choose from. The most common you would come across is SolidWorks. This software is mostly used by small to medium enterprises in sheet and metal domain. There is also Kasia, which is used by large companies, plastic domains, forging, surfacing, and automobile parts. You can check out Creo and NXCAD if you want to try some more before settling on a desired software. These softwares I just mentioned are the easiest you would come across and the fastest you can learn. I'll be mentioning more throughout the video. As a beginner, it's always important to take notice of the downsides in the categories of softwares you are making your final decision on. CAD softwares aren't for everyone. You should know what you really want to achieve before deciding on settling with either surface, solid or a polygonal modeling software. That said, there are a good many options to choose from when selecting which 3D modeling software you would prefer. Each with strengths and weaknesses that makes them better for some modeling jobs than others. Given the differences, choosing the right software for your purpose is essential to realizing elements of your ideas without wasting time using the wrong tool. A 3D representation of, let's say, manufacturing, animation, or rendering will need a 3D file such as STL. STL files are massive list of coordinate points that define a shape. This is something no human being can design just by designing something in 3D by declaring the coordinates. For that purpose, CAD softwares were invented. CAD software allow designers to create unified dimension and designs by means of a visual interface. The program takes care of all the calculations and creates the file with all coordinates. So the designer only has to worry about shapes and sizes. But not all CAD programs are made equal. That's not to say that some are better than some. Rather, some approach modeling in different ways than others. And Rhino is a typical example. It's hard to compare Rhino to other modeling softwares. No other software, in my opinion, is customizable, has such a large community and large amount of free open source add-ons. Listen, any problem you would ever encounter in this software has already been solved on their forum. I've left a link to their forum in my description below. Rhino 3D is a freeform surface modeler. I will take time to break down what a surface modeler means in a bit. Now, what a freeform surface modeler does is it uses the modeling by curve techniques called NURBS. NURBS is a mathematical model that renders curves and surfaces in computer graphics. This mathematical model offers great flexibility and precision during the whole 3D modeling process. With this technique, you work with curves when modeling rather than linking polygons. This kind of modeling uses adaptive mesh, which enables you to optimize the number of faces forming the object's surface. This modeling technique is the most accurate you can ever find, and Rhino does it somehow the best, in my opinion. Most often than not, you would come across a lot of people attributing inaccuracy to Rhinoceros 3D, but I ask myself this question all the time. Did they really use Rhino 3D or they rode on a jungle rhinoceros? Wait, that's a boo, not a rhinoceros. Well, they look alike. Rhino includes a really complete set of tools to help you develop all your projects. 
no matter what kind of industry you find yourself in, you just have to ask or search for the right add-ons. This program is not only useful for 3D creations, it also has a 2D feature called Make 2D. Make 2D allows you to create 2D drawings and drafts, develop your technical illustrations and communicate all your ideas very easy and quick to clients using this feature. Rhino is an accurate 3D modeling software, perfect for design and also provides features with deep analysis in visualization and engineering. Rhinoceros is easier to start with but has a steeper learning curve, therefore consistency shouldn't be taken for granted. It's just like Blender. Once you get the basics, you would begin to flow very quick with the software. Now, before I continue, let me take my first question. What's your take on Rhino versus SolidWorks? Well, Rhinoceros is a surface modeler, whilst SolidWorks is a solid modeler. Look, it's way easier if you understand the basic principles of what each type of software is built to do. Some would argue Rhino is a mere surface modeler and not a complete package as compared to SolidWorks. Rhinoceros is a full function software package and has more features, add-ons and usability than SolidWorks. It's very fast, easy to learn and has excellent integration with other CAD softwares. Besides, you don't need a lot of computational power as compared to SolidWorks. There is also a massive price difference between Rhino and SolidWorks with Rhino offering a perpetual license, free support, and you also um, only have to pay extra cash when a major update is released. Rhinoceros has a parametric surfacing feature, but it can only be activated if you turn on history. I wouldn't say much on SolidWorks because this video isn't about SolidWorks. Also, I have a dedicated video on SolidWorks coming up shortly. but. Let me try my best to give you some visible difference between Rhino and SolidWorks. SolidWorks is powered with certain specific features and libraries for mechanical assembly that makes it more functional and a better choice in a factory production. Whilst Rhino is also more prepared in design studios, furniture and manufacturing houses. There are three main types of 3D modeling in CAD, solid, polygonal and surface. Each has its own advantages and disadvantages. Of course, there are other types, but mostly these other types exist as a subset of these three or are highly specialized for other specific purposes. I would only talk about surface modeling since Rhinoceros uses the surface modeling technique. Surface modeling is the next step in complexity. Highly professional applications demand smooth surfaces and seamless integration and this can only be handled by a more advanced program that require more work and computing power. However, with surface modeling, you can achieve shapes that will be nearly impossible with the other two methods which are solid and polygonal method of modeling. Surface modeling is the most advanced among the remaining two modeling techniques since it relies on guiding lines to define the shape and curvature of a part. Okay, I got another question from a guy called why can't Blender CAD work? Such a weird name. Look, let's not make it seem as if a software lacks something if it's unable to achieve something. The technique Blender uses is entirely different. We don't do technical design in Blender, Maya or 3D Max because these are polygonal modelers. SolidWorks, NX, Kasia and Crew are all solid MCAD modeling software that help engineers type thinkers create dimensional modelers that are ready for manufacturers. If you want to get more creative by adding more style to your work, then you should be targeting surface modelers such as Alias, Rhino, and to some extent 3D Studios Max. Finally, we have others who would prefer freeform polygonal sculpting, thereby choosing from ZBrush, Blender, or Matbox. Look, Surface modeling, polygonal modeling, and solid modeling are never going to replace each other because they take completely different approaches towards 3D modeling. Note this, techniques don't compete, they are different and should complement each other, in my opinion. Let me take one other question, which says, what do you think about Rhino and AutoCAD? Can I replace Rhino with AutoCAD? 
well i'm not sure what he really meant but it's like asking if a truck could replace a train they are built for two separate tasks but can do some of the other's job if required autocad is a drafting engine whilst rhino is a modeling engine autocad can do 3d but it is still drafting rhino can generate drawings from models but it is still not designed to do that as its main reason for existence if you are into drafting but want to spend less than the cost of autocad in my opinion i would suggest you try out alternatives such as Ares commander or brace card These files are supported within Rhino 3D, allowing users to issue, save, export, import, insert, and work session command from within the application itself. Note that when a non-native file format is used, Rhino 3D will convert the geometry to the 3DM Rhinoceros file format. When a CAD file is imported, the geometry will be added to the existing file. Even though Rhinoceros is a good surface modeler, as an overall 3D package, it's got downsides to it, just like every software does. Now, these are a few you shouldn't complain about if you ever come across them. One will be virtually non-existent texture tools in Rhinoceros. Two will be poor filleting tool and meshing algorithms. Three is Rhinoceros is crash prone. The software crashes a lot. And then four. Rhinoceros is very dependent on third-party plugins for even the most basic tasks. Okay, if there was any information on CAD or Rhino I left out, kindly detail it out in the comment section below. If you love this video, then kindly don't forget to sub. Yeah, peace out.